Our today's topic is assimilation. What is assimilation? What are the different types of assimilation? In our today's video, we will delve into the depth of assimilation. Assimilation is very much important in our spoken language. It makes our spoken language more fluid, natural and efficient. We will start with the definition of assimilation. When a sound changes to become more similar to a neighboring sound. This means that when two words come together, for example, that person, but in our rapid speech, we will not say that person, but we will quickly say that person. So, assimilation is found in rapid speech, not in slow, careful speech, because in slow, careful speech, we are careful about the words. Sometimes, difference is very noticeable and sometimes it is very slight. So, it depends upon the accent, it depends upon the speed of the person. So, assimilation is mostly founded in the rapid speech. Another important point to remember regarding assimilation, that assimilation typically affects the consonant sounds, not the vowels. Consonant sounds are most affected by the assimilation. So, assimilation occurs when two words are spoken together. Some important points to remember regarding assimilation, that if CF changes to become like CI in some way, then the assimilation is regressive assimilation. What does it mean? For example, if two words are there and the first word last sound changes to become like second word first sound, this is known as regressive assimilation. It's a little confusing, but you will understand it. Second point is that if CI mean the initial sound changes to become like CF, if the initial sound is affected by the previous word last sound, so this assimilation is known as progressive assimilation. Next is coalescent assimilation. Basically, this is the assimilation when two sounds come together, when they join together, they form another new sound. This is known as coalescent assimilation. So these are the three different types. CF become like CI, then known as regressive, CI changes to become like CF. This is known as progressive. Now, we are moving towards the types of assimilation. There are three different types of assimilation and we will discuss all of them along with the examples. Now, first type of assimilation is the place of articulation. When there is difference in the place of articulation. Number two, difference in manner of articulation. Like how we are articulating the sound. And number three is difference in voicing. I will provide the link of my playlist phonetics and phonology in which I have explained in my videos the manner and the place of the consonant sounds. First is the assimilation of place of articulation. This type occurs when a consonant changes its place of articulation to match the next sound. I already told you that assimilation occurs in the consonant sound. So, in this place of articulation, one consonant is changing to match the next sound. For example, that person. Now, if we say in rapid, quick speech, we will say that person. So, here the T is affected by the next P sound. So, it becomes that person. The alveolar T becomes bilabial P. So, this is the first example. I hope you are clear with this concept. Next is get those. Now, whenever we will say get those in rapid speech, we will say get those. Mean we are dropping the T and we are taking the next the sound before. So, get those. Next is good boy. Now, in good boy in rapid speech, we will not say good boy. But the first initial sound of the second word will dominate the first one. We will say good boy. Next example that case. Now, in that case, T will be affected by K. So, we will say that case. So, in assimilation, native speakers are mostly skipping the difficult sound, so they become more fluent in their speeches. Next is the assimilation of manner. Remember that assimilation of place is the most dominant one. Assimilation of manner is less common and usually subtle. It involves changes like a plosive becoming a fricative or nasal. So, assimilation of manner occurs, but it is very less common. For example, that side. Now, in that side, 
T will be dominated by the fi first initial sound of the second word. Here, the T sound changes to S, making it easier to pronounce. For example, the side. Next is good night. So here, D will be dominated by the initial sound of the second word and we will say good night instead of good night. Now is assimilation or voicing, which is the third type of assimilation. In assimilation of voicing, in this case, voicing changes depending upon the following sound. So the concept is same that one of the sound is affected in assimilation. So this is the basic concept of assimilation that either first or the second sound is affected. For example, have to. Now, instead of saying have to in rapid speech, we will say have to. The voiced v would become voiceless f to match the voiceless t. So this was the example of assimilation of voicing. Next example, those years. So those years will become like those year. The z would become y to match the palatal sound. So I hope you are clear with the concept till now that in assimilation, one of the sound is affected to make it more fluent. So please subscribe my channel, Laiba's English Corner, for further English linguistic, literature, and other educational informative videos. Now another important concept is that assimilation isn't limited to word boundaries. It can occur within the words too. For example, if I say word input, but whenever I will say this word in quick rapid speech, I will say input mean there is, instead of na, there is ma sound, input. So this is the concept of assimilation. Assimilation is a natural and essential part of the connected speech. It simplifies articulation, by removing the difficult sounds and makes our conversation more fluid. So I hope you understand something from today's video. In our today's video, we discuss assimilation and the different types of assimilation. So please subscribe my channel, Laiba's English Corner, for further English literature, linguistic and other educational informative videos. Thank you so much for watching.